Okay, Dave here from grabgreattraffic.com and on this video we're going to show you how to manipulate images and in particular we're going to do a header for our uh, uh, Ease Anxiety site. So let's open up the blog on our desktop and go into content, themes, and magic blue. And here is our header. And if we look here, we see that we have 770 by 205. So uh, when we start making our header, that's the size that we're going to want. And then we can either put it in here, of course, with a, with a more SEO-friendly title than just header BG. And we'll copy that title. And then when we go into our blog, we'll, we'll either have uploaded it or this will, we'll upload the blog with the new header in it. So we can either take that header and FTP it up or put it in here and then put this on our site. So uh, now we're going to go into our image program. Okay, I have a fairly extensive graphics package available at Easy For You Guru. The uh, link is on the, uh, on the post transcript. But anyway, if you have already have graphics, then go ahead and use them. Uh, we are in that graphics pack right now and we're going to look through for uh, well we want something kind of light so we're thinking maybe a beach scene or something and uh, some clouds and things so uh, opening up your graphics package and of course the PSD files are the layered ones and that's the ones that you'll want to use um, so let's just if when we click on them and let's click on uh, 29 here 29 PSD, and this this looks fairly decent. Got a little uh, little water scene here. Uh, let's see what else we have. Okay, so let's look at uh, one KS PSD, and this looks real good. Got some clouds. So we might want to put somebody besides the babes in there but uh, this looks like we might have a good uh, good background here and so we'll mark this down and we'll go through and look for some other uh, things that we might want to add into this now here at uh, 123 PSD let's take a look at that and looks like we've got some a good water scene in here we can double click it and open it up if we want to see a little better look but we're just kinda looking through right now so let's see what else we have let's go ahead and double click it and it looks like we got a pretty good family here so we might want to put uh, that family uh, in our in our header so let's uh, mark that and we'll get back to that now 165 PSD uh, looks like it might have hammocks and uh, pine uh, palm trees let's uh, double click that and bring that up and of course we can go over here and eliminate some of this see what this does and just by clicking the eye you can eliminate the layer so we want to probably get rid of website right here and your cool slogan and a layer and we've got some palm trees and hammocks that we might want to use so we'll mark that down and let's keep looking and here on 166 looks like we have another family in a shoreline we might want to use those let's take a look and that's a pretty good family there and we could we might want to use this shoreline so let's mark that down and see what we're going to come up with I think we're probably going to use this family so we'll mark that down for the family so I think we're going to work with the background here in uh, header 1ks so let's double click that and we're going to remove the models here so let's go over to the layers and move that Move this and that one. 
And now what we want to do is scale this and save it as a JPEG and then we'll go ahead and and start putting stuff onto it. So let's uh, resize the image and since we've just got the background here we should be okay uh, scaling it most any way we want. So we're going to go into scale the image and we're going what we what we're going to want is 770 by 205. So let's unlink these so that they don't uh, keep the same aspect ratio. And let's put 770 in here. And go down here and put 205. And put scale. And it still looks uh, fairly proportional, so we're okay. Now let's save this and uh, go ahead and flatten the image first, which is a shift I. And now we're going to save it as a JPEG. And we'll save this as. So we're going to save it in our anxiety site and we're going to save it as ease anxiety and as a JPEG and if you want to know how to do that down at the bottom when we select the file type we have GIMP uh, and here's JPEG we've got any number of ways to save this. You generally don't want to save it as a ping or PNG image because uh, Internet Explorer doesn't handle ping real well so either a GIMP or a JPEG. So anyway, we say we're saving this as a uh, as Ease Anxiety JPEG, and we'll save it. And it's going to ask us if we want to replace the one we already have, and we do. And it gives us a little window up here, 85% quality, which is more than enough. So we'll leave that as a default, and we'll go ahead and save it. Okay, and here we have it. Now, 